As with anything on the internet, sometimes things get a little crazy when it comes to leaks and rumors. I mean, come on. The last year and a half of Spider-Man No Way Home was the wildest ride we've ever been on. Now, I know there's a lot of casual fans out there that don't even look at Twitter or the internet or Instagram or YouTube or anything like that. They just go, they see the trailers and they go watch the movies. But then there's us. And us is the community uh, that dives head first, right down into the wormhole and attaches onto everything and processes every little bit of information we get. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Welcome to the Chaos Multiverse, everybody. Jimmy or Chaos, Doctor Strange 2. We've been doing a lot of videos on it because that's the next big thing in the MCU on the slate. And I've said before, it's going to be bigger than Spider-Man No Way Home in the terms of uh, what it brings to the table. What I mean by that is the fan service, the shock value, the cameos, the connections, the setup. Now, we already know, well, we think we know, that Wanda is going to be a villain. We think we know we're going to get multiple cameos from who knows who, Professor X, the X-Men, the, the Fox series. There's even rumors about Hugh Jackman returning as Wolverine, Deadpool, Domino, Cable. We could go on and on and on. Tony Stark's Iron Man variant in the form of Tom Cruise. It gets pretty wild with the speculation uh, that's out there. But there is one that nobody's talking. Well, not I, I don't want to say nobody, but not many people are talking about that could actually make some sense when it comes to a cameo. We also didn't talk about Edward Norton returning as a variant of Hulk. Wouldn't that be crazy? Talk about a full circle event. But nobody's really putting a lot of emphasis on the big one. And that is Ghost Rider. That's right. You don't see a lot about it. There are some leakers that have talked about it. There have been uh, some articles that address it. And uh, there are rumors that he is expected to make a surprise cameo. Kind of introduce the character before he goes on to have his own Disney Plus series or whatever they decide to do in that realm of the darker MCU when it comes to Black Knight and Blade. And if they want to tie back into Morbius at all, uh, there's a whole other realm of the MCU that we're going to be uh, kind of dipping our toes into and Ghost Rider is probably going to be a very, very integral, big part of that darker MCU. The question is, if he does make a surprise cameo or just a quick introduction, heck, it could be even off screen or maybe even a mention. I don't know. But if we do see a physical person that is cast as Ghost Rider, who is it going to be? Well, I'll uh, spin the bottle and the bottle will point to Nicolas Cage every single time. And here's my thing. Here's my take on that. I would like to see Nicolas Cage as a Ghost Rider variant. I don't want to see Nicolas Cage as the MCU's Ghost Rider. And then we also have Gabriel Luna as well. So those are the two out there that everybody assumes. I don't think it's going to go that way at all. Let's hypothetically say we do get a Ghost Rider cameo to tease and set up future stuff for the Ghost Rider character. I don't think it'll be Nicolas Cage. I would like to see him as a variant though. If they do the whole Tony Stark, Tom Cruise, Iron Man variant... I think they could do the same thing with Ghost Rider because everybody kind of connects Ghost Rider to Nicolas Cage. Let's be right. Whether you like the movies or not, Nicolas Cage was Ghost Rider. I don't think Gabriel Luna probably has the pull to be that either. I think Marvel should cast a brand new actor for Ghost Rider. You guys can give me your best guesses or suggestions on who you think that should be, but I think it needs to be a clean slate with this one. I truly, truly do. I don't think Nicolas Cage is going to sign on or they want him to be a part of the MCU for the next five to 10 years, and Ghost Rider is going to be an integral character, like I said. So my best guess is that we get a brand new casting if we do see a cameo, and that if they really want to spice it up and just go off the deep end, we get a quick Nicolas Cage variant. That would be crazy. And I know that's probably too much, but we can ask, right? Let me know what you guys think. Give me your best guess on who should play Ghost Rider, which is a very important role in the MCU. I'll see you soon.